Hello everyone, this is Postcard 247 and here we are one more time with the latest. So, I don't know, well, there were rumors of uh, Jesse Vargas versus Cal Brook, you know, finally taking place. But, you know, I don't know what's going on, man. Honestly, you know, I was on uh, Twitter and I've, saw, I've seen, you know, Jesse Vargas tweet, you know, as you can see in the, you know, picture as yourself. It says, looks like Brook doesn't want, the f you want to take the fight if you ask me. Well, I really don't know what's going on with Cal Brook. You know, Cal Brook being a pussy, you know, Cal Brook is still talking about Amir Khan. And Cal Brook is ducking Errol Spence. Come on. You know, don't come with fucking excuses, man. You know, I know you got some, there, there are some Cal Brook fans. You know, who just, what they do is they come to my video and they dislike it. You know, Arrow Spence is one of the, you know, he's going to be one of the best fighters now with Mayweather gone. But, you know, I don't know what's taking Cal Brook so long to finalize this fight against Jesse Vargas. You know, I really believe, you know, I have to be honest, I really believe Cal Brook will knock this guy out. You know, Cal Brook will beat this guy. Easy. Easy. That's what I believe, you know, Jesse Vargas is a great fighter, but, you know, the only fight that, you know, I was really wanting him to win was against Tim Bradley, and he, he, didn't, do, he didn't do shit, and, uh, you know, even though he's got belts, you know, but he beat who? Saddam Ali? You know, Saddam Ali is was a, is a great boxer, but he's not really elite level, you know, I, that fight with Tim Bradley showed that, you know, Jesse Waga is still amateur. I mean, he's not amateur, but, you know, he's not there. He's not too there to me. But I don't know, man, what's going on with Cal Brook. You know, at the end, he's talking all the shit. You know, he's talking about, you know, Cal Brook moving up to 154. You know, after this fight, after his next fight, hopefully it's going to be against Jesse Vargas. Because uh, Jesse Vargas did his job. He signed his part. And uh, now it's on to Cal Brook. You know, but Cal Brook, you know, I know this guy. He likes to duck and dodge. You know, he thinks he's a Mayweather. You know, that's what he did when he fought, uh, when he when he was supposed to fight Brand Rios. It took his time, but then Brand Rios was like, man, fuck you, I'll, I'll go somewhere else. And uh, he's doing the same thing to Jesse Vargas. I mean, come on. You know, I really believe Cal Brook will take him out. You know, like I say, you know, I don't think, I don't see anything special Jesse Vargas, you know, can do, I mean, to upset Cal Brook. But at the same time, Cal Brook is a king at talking and dodging. You know, he's, he's avoiding a response. You know, he's, he's, I don't know what to say on this, man, honestly. You know, his, his promoter is already talking about Cal Brook moving up to 154, you know, after his next fight. So, he's doing, he's, like I say, man, uh, man, don't get me wrong, but he, he's avoiding a response. You know, he doesn't want to fight the best of 147. He only fought one decent guy in Sean Porter. That's it, man. You know, people say nobody wants to fight Cal Brook. It's... They don't want to fight Cal Brook because Cal Brook doesn't want to leave his own. You know, belt doesn't mean shit. You know, you have to come to U.S. I mean, fight there in the U.S. U.S. is the Mocha boxing, as we all know. The big money fights are there. Cal Brook really needs to, you know, I think Cal Brook really needs to. Cal Brook is a nice fella, but, you know, he needs to leave at the end. You know, if you want to fight the best, if you want to make some money, decent money, then he needs to leave Eddie Hearn. Because Eddie Hearn is not, he's a cheap son of a gun, man. That's, that's all I have to say. You know, I really want to see Cal Brook, you know, to take this fight against Jesse Vargas. Because then he can have two belts at one for seven. But I don't know, man, what's wrong with Cal Brook, man. Seems like he doesn't want to fight Jesse Vargas as well. You know, there were some tweets. Uh, yeah. Adam Shake. Jesse, come here in the UK and take care of this guy, please. Over right hand. 
Then some guy called look. We in the UK all behind you to win fuck broke. Standard board, you know, always pulls out when he knows he's getting beat. And that's, uh, I don't know, man. I really believe Calbro can beat this guy easier. You know, I don't, like I say, man, this guy lost to Tim Bradley. You know, Tim Bradley is a great boxer. So that just showed you how, you know, at what level, you know, Jesse Vargas is at. But, Cal Brook, man, honestly, I don't know what to say on this, man. I don't know what to talk about. I mean, this guy is going to duck Errol Spence. He's going to duck Jesse Vargas as well. And, uh, you know, he's still talking about Amir Khan. He's still talking about how he's going to knock out Amir Khan. Come on, man. You need to grow the fuck up, I mean. You need to get on with your career, I mean. Fight some decent fellas, man. And you're going to be bigger than Amir Khan, man. If you win this one, and if you fight somebody else, and he, if if you beat Jesse Vargas, you need to fight Danny Garcia, or maybe Keith Herman Sharp or winner. But you want to wide everybody, man. You want to go move up to in weight. To avoid these guys, especially Errol Spence, because you know this Errol Spence is real. He's not coming to have a joke. You know, you talk about, you know, you, you Eddie Hunt said something about, you know, you know, Team Spence, you know, secretly declined to fight Errol Spence, uh, Cal Brook. That was all bullshit, man. You know, Eddie Hunt likes to talk. You know, then I've been on, uh, you know, Aerosmith's Twitter and he was like, this is all bullshit. You know, we were told by IBF that you still have one fight before you get mandatory to the IBF title. And this is what I'm doing. I would never, ever decline such an offer, man. So, at the end, he's a liar, man. I think the reason... Calbrook is so, you know, irrelevant or unknown is because of Eddie Hearn. If he can leave Eddie Hearn and if he, I think he, he's going to be, he's going to be great. He's going to do well if you leave Eddie Hearn. Especially in the, uh, you know, money wise, I mean, he's, he's going to be making loads. But, you know, for this, uh, you know, Calbrook needs to rethink, man. Calbrook needs to rethink. Let me know, guys, what you think. You know, what do you want to say about Cal Brook moving up in weight? Or is he trying to duck, you know, Errol Spence? Or whatever the case is. Let me know what you think. Thank you.